it's Fiona. Now this is the last of the pen rolls and the pencil rolls and they've all been quite fancy but this is a paintbrush roll made out of canvas and it is for myself. I'm going to keep it in my camera bag or I might even just keep it in the back of the car so I've got it whenever I need it. Now um, it is four times the length of this A4 book and I've got quite a few of these A4 books so I'll always, I have refills because there's nothing worse than taking time just to do it and then you haven't got refills. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hem around the outside. I'm also going to sew on a piece of elastic from about here and I can mark that with a tiny notch and that's going to hold it all together when it's all done. And I'm also going to sew another piece of elastic, this time going on the inside, to hold the book in place. So I can mark that with a notch. And then I can do it at the opposing end of the cloth, because it's just a rectangle. And as you can see, it's probably a sort of generous four times round. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm then going to use a scrap of cloth and put in a pocket for my paintbrushes and pencils. But the first job is literally to hem it. It's not lined or anything, it's very, very simple. And I'm going to start off in the corner, it's a lot easier, but I'm going to start nearest the point where I have to remember... To put the elastic. Now, okay, this is a flaw in my personality. I will happily sew a square and completely forget to leave a bit to turn it round or a bit to, you know, just seam it. I, I just, I just forget. I, I just get going and I forget. So all I've done is I folded my edge once, twice. And I've inserted a piece of elastic. Now this one's going around the back, so I'm going to reverse over it and then sew again. There we go, it's really secure, absolutely secure. I'm going to refold my hair, and it literally is, I just pinch that, put it in position, I'm holding it in place over here. And then I sew again up to my next point. Now the next point is to hold the book in place. So very, very gently really. I'm not going to stretch the elastic because I don't want to pull the whole garment over, over. But for the first bit we don't need to worry. And to keep it secure, I'm going to reverse stitch over. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep this elastic out of the way and I'm going to hem the rest of this rectangle. I'll be back. Hi, so welcome back. I've gone round 90% of the way and I'm just putting in the first of the elastic. And I've, so I've come up to the notch and I'm just threading that one in. Alright, a couple of good quality stitches just to keep it in place. Double check that I've caught it because sometimes you can sew and it's not caught. Now this second one is the one that's going around the outside of the roll. So let's sew a bit closer. And I'm going to take it from the outside and then push it in. Now this is fiddly, you know, it, there's no two ways about it. I'm going to just take the time, and it is a case of double check, triple check. Um, sometimes you find that these things are easier if you do poke them with a pin, um, just to get them nice and tidy. And when I'm happy, then I'm literally just going to sew over it and reverse stitch. So I've got it folded over, making sure that I don't have a loop here, because this time I'm sewing over the back of the elastic and making sure that I'm happy before I sew on. Now, folding up the last bit, okay, I've got a twist in there, which ideally, if it was for someone else, I would sort out. If that involved unpicking, then I would, but as it's for myself, I'm quite happy. So, 
and then I'm coming to the end. I've given myself a good three inches to work, folding it once, folding it twice. And if you feel that this corner is a bit bulky or it sticks out at an angle, you can always fold it in. Now we are going over quite a thick bit of fabric. Um, so nice and slowly, give your machine a chance. I did lift up the foot to push in the new hem. Um, it just sometimes I find, especially with this machine, that it kind of knocks my um, stitches out of the way. So we've come off the thick bit and we're just coming on literally the home straight. I'm getting it folded ready and then I'm just going to sew. So that's grand. Alrighty. Now, my paint brushes are going to need to be able to stand the length of the book. But my pencils, I can fold over and I can do that you know stitch 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 and um because of it's not like i have to have 12 pencils it's a case of that okay i can put 12 pencils in there if i want but my uh, drawing pencils i mainly use hb uh which is the writing type pencils so it doesn't really 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 truly matter but for my pocket for my paint brushes I'm going to need to take another bit of cloth and I'm going to need to hem this completely so um, rather than measure anything what I'm doing is I'm using the other the bit of the leftover and again literally one two three stitches round and what I'm going to do as well is when this is sewn at the right end. I'm going to fold this over for my pencils and then I'm going to fold the pocket in as well. So I, I do need to do that bit next. So yes, let's start with the pencils. What I need to do is I need to line this up neatly. I don't need to worry about the rest of this. All I need is this first line sewn neatly. And then maybe I can move on to the others. This does need to be exactly the same length. So if we've got a way we can use a tape measure or we can just mark it with um, a stick. And then we can put that over there. Now I've chosen canvas because it's nice and hard wearing. And I can wash it quite easily. And if all else fails I can use it as a cloth when I'm actually painting. Because sometimes you do need just to sort of mop it up. Okay, I have, I think, done too many videos of this. I really have. I'm going to draw a line of stitch. And then I'm going to take my pencil. And I'm going to measure... How big I need the hole for the pencils and it's going to be a case of I need it at least this big so I can sort of mark that with my finger or I can mark that with a pin I can then take it to the sewing machine and I can work out where I need to start sewing from and how much I need now there's loads of ways I can put a mark on the sewing machine I quite like you to use a post-it note but I could use a sharpie marker pen and just do a little dot there Okay, so that's my next job and I'll be right back with you. So welcome back. I've done my lefty-whitey and I've inserted my pocket. And what I did is I hemmed around a square and then before I started sewing these, I, I pushed it underneath. So it's not ideal doing it that way. There's more than enough. And if I get to the point where I feel I need a pencil sharpener, I can just stuff one in there and and it sort of seals itself. Now I have my book. I um, I have four of this size, so I have replacements, which is important to me. You know, there is no point me having um, doing this if I if I can't use it. So there we go. Put that like that. Put that like that. Pull that over slightly. And then I can pull that over there. So we're all done. Okay. That's right. Pull that over. Maybe back again. And there we go. 
all right so that's my make um i hope you enjoyed the video uh, i'll definitely be well at least carrying this in the car if i ever get a chance to use it it'll be a surprise because i always think oh i wish but then i don't and sometimes i do and i don't even look all right so thank you ever so much for watching my name's fiona from weekly sewing bee oh yes i'm going to spend half an hour getting rid of all these loose bits of thread so thanks ever so much for watching